Donald Trump did say last week that he thought a deal could be done. Unfortunately, uh, analysts don't seem to share his sense of uh, optimism. I mean, for one, the delegation that's uh, in Beijing doesn't seem to have a, a coherent strategy. You've got uh, the likes of Robert Lighthizer, who's a trade hawk as part of that team. And also, uh, you've got figures uh, like Larry Kudrow, Trump's top economic advisor, who is an advocate of free trade as part of that team as well. And already China's saying that it doesn't expect any uh, clear outcomes from just uh, one single consultation and part of the problem is uh, what the US is asking for here it wants uh, to address its uh, 375 billion dollar trade deficit uh, with China and a lot of analysts are saying that one of the issues is that uh, America just simply doesn't have uh, the big ticket items that are uh, that the Chinese want to buy uh, so it's very difficult to see uh, how they're going to move forward on that particular issue what are we going to see uh, what well, we could see China to make some concessions. After all, both countries want to avoid uh, a trade war. So uh, we're, we could see China uh, repeat again that it will do more to open up its auto sector and perhaps uh, remove tariffs on, on cars that are imported into the country and perhaps uh, open up its uh, uh, financial services sector as well. But uh, the thing that uh, everyone will want to see is that it's not just uh, making these sort of positive intentions, uh, but in fact uh, showing some specific on these areas.